to the Rotoscopers YouTube. <laughs> Woo! We are your hosts. My name is Chelsea Robson. And I'm Morgan Stradling. And today we are going to be talking about Frozen. Disney's Frozen. So this will be their 52nd feature animated film. Coming out this year in November 2013. So the thing is, great, yeah, Frozen. It's coming out in, what, 11 months? But we've only got one concept art. It's really not enough for us diehard Disney fans. Yeah. What are they thinking? We have a logo, a trailer. No trailer. We don't have a no, trailer. No, no. There's not even a trailer. And concept art. We have one concept art picture. That's it. So yeah, how long are we going to talk about this? Five minutes? Probably. Well, we're hardcore Disney fans. So we'll talk a lot more about one concept art, but... Being that we are rotoscopers, uh, we kind of have our hands in lots of different pots. Honey pots. <laughs> and concept art pots. <laughs> concept art pots. So, we actually are going to be talking about some of the things that they haven't shown us yet. Awesome! But first, let's talk about the, what they have shown us. The first picture that they have shown us is, you know, it looks very... Very, icy. Yeah, icy. <laughs> So it's a picture of Anna and Kristoff, and we don't know how they met or what's their situation, but they're teaming together. So Anna is the Snow Queen, or Elsa's sister. Uh, they grew up together in the palace, and Elsa, uh, she had this deep dark secret that she could control the elements. She could control snow and ice. And eventually, right before this big coronation ceremony, it comes out. And she accidentally freezes a lot of stuff, and it's a big deal because there's this prophecy that someone with a, a cold heart is going to essentially put the kingdom in a never-ending winter. Wah, wah. So, Elsa flees because she doesn't want that to be her. She doesn't want to be the one to put this on everybody. And she creates this giant ice palace up in the middle of the mountains and surrounds herself with all these snowman guards. Mm -hmm. So, but what happens is Anna, who is the, the nice sister off to the side, well, okay, I guess if you could think about it, we've seen just a few pictures of the two of them together, and I think if you really wanted to know what kind of their personalities are based on those pictures, you'd kind of like, well, basically, it's Morgan and I. <laughs> <laughs> like, Morgan, before she dyed her hair, she was very blonde. Very blonde. And so am I. So, uh, Ta -da! yay! <laughs> But she has really cool eye makeup and very exotic looking and... <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> do, the, do the look. Exactly. And Anna's more... <laughs> <laughs> so if you really want to know what they're like, just think of us. Until you see the movie and they're nothing like us. <laughs> well, yeah. But until then, we have the market cornered. <laughs> so... so. <laughs> Anna, she wants to help her sister out, so she's going on this adventure, maybe quest, to find her sister and to convince her otherwise. So this first piece of concept art that we were given shows that. Uh, Anna and Kristoff, they're walking through this ice land and it's very uh, creepy and it's eerie the way that the ice, it's all being blown and frozen like mid-air, like horizontal. So it's, it's very creepy and it's very eerie and if you zoom into the picture, um, Anna seems to be taking it all in and she's loving life. <laughs> she's like, wow. <laughs> Look like, how great this is! My sister did this? Kristoff, not so much. Yeah, he, you know, of course has the, the glum eyebrows and he's angry like, how the heck did I get this? <laughs> get roped into this I one. mean, it looks like he's carrying her purse or a bag. <laughs> Once again, he's a gentleman. how did he get roped into this? <laughs> <laughs> the way they contrast is Anna, she's wearing fuchsia and this bright blue and then her hair contrasts with that. You know, she's very happy and lively. And Kristoff, uh, black gray and maybe a little red. He's the mountain man. Like that's just what he is. And she's the princess that's lived in a palace her whole life. So mm -hmm. that's the difference, the contrasting difference there. Well, moving on to the other characters that they haven't told you about. So the first character that they haven't shown us is Elsa. The Snow Queen. The Snow Queen. Yeah. She is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Like really, really pretty. And she's just kind of looking over her shoulder like... There. Yeah. <laughs> so what I like about Elsa is if you look at the picture of Anna, Anna has very like warm tones to her. Her skin is warm. Mm -hmm. Her hair is kind of this goldeny blonde. While Elsa, she's the complete opposite. She's, everything about her are cool tones. Mm -hmm. So her hair is like this white ice blonde, uh, platinum blonde, and maybe they have bleach back then, but 
maybe she just got the good genes. <laughs> but so it's just very icy. Her skin seems to be a lot paler than than Anna's. And so you kind of see the two, like one is the warm bubbly one and one is the very icy one. Thanks a lot. <laughs> And like she said, she has this gorgeous eyeliner. She has these ice blue eyes. Um, in her fishtail braid, she has these little ornamental things like ice incrustations that are all kind of weaved and braided in. Yeah. It's really awesome. So it's like draped all to one side. Um, and then her clothes. Clothes are beautiful. So you've got the dress that goes up to the like that high empire waist, but then the neck, it goes kind of all the way across, and it kind of goes up the neck a little bit, kind of more chiffon and see-through, but still it has like these icicles and snowflakes all draped through the whole thing. And so the, the whole dress is blue, and then on top it's got this really, really pretty, fine, this, this very transparent sheer material that drapes all the way down, and it has lots of uh, snowflake designs throughout the entire thing. Which is her thing, because in the other picture, if you remember, um, anything that she enchants, like the, the landscape or the world, she kind of leaves her mark by putting these snowflakes all through it. So in the last picture, you know, even on the grounds, there were these marks of, of snowflakes. So that's even incorporated in her dress design, you know, that sheer material that's on top, there's snowflakes all through it. And what I really like about her is, like this is kind of the style right now, but it's very like, it great, it's a gradient down. So it's an ombre effect, so it's lighter, and then it goes to like this dark, mm -hmm. not even dark blue, but just a darker blue. And it's kind of this aquamarine, blue color that she has and it just looks elegant it looks regal so she, you can see by looking at her that this is a queen this is a princess this girl means business like looking at these pictures i don't see evil like i don't no. see anyone who looks mean she's smiling at all of them she does kind of have like a little sexy smirk at one time but like she looks like she could be a heroine yeah so the next character is hans now we don't know anything about hans we just know his name is hans from the concept art. He's a military guy, uh, red hair with these uh, mutton chops that are very big. He's a skinny guy. Compare him to Kristoff and he is slender and slim. Yes. I'm thinking maybe he's a romantic interest to one of the girls. I don't know which one. Otherwise, I, I would tell you how the movie ends. <laughs> he's basically the complete opposite of Kristoff. Like, Kristoff, big mountain man, and Hans is yeah, how are you today? <laughs> I hope he's not British. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he has like very high collars, you know, he, yeah. even his undershirt goes, or you know, his first layer goes here, his tie goes here, his coat goes here, like obviously we're getting the impression this guy is very stiff. Now he has a smile on his face, so maybe he's happy, but um, he's definitely, you know, he's the, he's the type, you know, with the, the hand behind the back and one hand here, like, Always in military position, from what I'm getting from this guy. Saber always at his side. <sighs> <laughs> so that's all we know about Hans. He seems pretty cool. Um, definitely a foil to Kristoff, but again, that's kind of what the sisters are too. So yeah. I don't know who will end up with who, or even if this is a love story, but who knows. So we talked about how Elsa is, you know, he's, she's gone off and she created this own little, her own little world, ice castle around her. And this is a part where she actually goes and she sings. And we know that Adina Menzel has a booming voice. And now we were able to go to Destination D. If you want to hear more about that, you can actually go to their podcast. And the podcast will talk way more in depth about the story and what they were talking about. Um, the link will be down here at the bottom. So check that one out too. It'll be great. Also, she, we had a chance. Wait, do you want to give a little preview of that song? Just one little line. Do you want me to? Do you want to? Or I want you to. Or should they just go listen to the podcast? Listen to the podcast. Listen to the podcast. But it is me singing, so yay! <laughs> oh, and then there's been also a bunch of blog posts out there like, oh yeah, some girl is singing. No, it's me! It's, <laughs> okay, I was kind of upset at that. Like, I'm not just some girl, alright? I'm a rotoscoper. <laughs> Remember that. And rotoscopers never forget. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so. I start singing that song, and it's just a little bit of the chorus, but it's so pretty. So head on over to that episode, and you'll be able to hear a little bit of that as well. So Morgan talked about how she has created all these snowman guards or such around her and her friends. So Olaf is kind of the character, when you make pancakes, you know how the first one just never turns out right? That's Olaf. <laughs> he just didn't turn out very well, and that's his character. and. 
I'm sorry, he has two front buck teeth. <laughs> he's mater. He's a mater. Okay, he's... And we heard, we kind of heard him, because they had this puppet guy, and you, uh, you can see photos of that, I've seen a few that have, that have surfaced. Anyways, he's kind of, he's the mater character. Yeah. He's a snowman, giant nose, big buck teeth, he's uh -huh. mater. Uh -huh. And then there's also a random moose. What is that, a moose? He's a moose. Yeah. They've also got this random moose elk. in there. No, it's not an elk. Moose have like... Yeah, it is. It's more like a reindeer type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We'll go with that. <laughs> so we also got this reindeer type in there that he's just kind of thrown in there, but he's got this like bandage on one of his antlers. So you know, I don't know what the what they've got planned with that his one. His name is Seven Sev Seven. How do you spell it? S S V E N. Seven. 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 I don't speak Swedish. Sorry. I'm sorry. He's very fluffy, he's brown, he's white, and like Chelsea said, half of his antlers are missing and has a little bandage. He seems cool. I hope he's not like in the moose in Brother Bear, where they're just comic relief just because, but I have a feeling you know sidekick characters in Disney movies. From one of the synopses that I read, it says that Anna kind of has this ragtag gang that she meets up with. So, uh, deformed snowman, or reject snowman. <laughs> I guess Kristoff somehow, and some, some. <laughs> so, hey, she's gonna take what she gets and help hey. to find her sister. So don't forget to check out our podcast, the Animation Addicts Podcast with the Rotoscopers. You can find the link down here, or you can just go to therotoscopers.com. That is our website. That's where you can find all the animation news and concept art and you know DVD reviews, film reviews. It's a big, fun, happy place. So go to therotoscopers.com if you want to check out more about animation. And, hey, if you're interested in The Snow Queen, the original source material by Hans Christian Andersen, hey, go to the link. We have an Audible trial for you. How awesome is that? Mm -hmm. You can just say, I want the free book, and then you're done. And you get to keep the free book. Now, disclaimer, the original source material has been changed significantly when they adapted this movie. So Frozen, apparently, is nothing like The Snow Queen. But it's still kind of... It's nice to know, right? Yeah, it's awesome to know. <laughs> Just because you clicked on this link down to the bottom, you get that for free. Once again, we are the Rotoscopers. Go check out our podcast, the website down at the bottom as well. Subscribe. We're asking you to do way too many things. So we're done. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Until next time, we are the Rotoscopers. Being that we are rotoscopers, we kind of have the in. Being that we are. <laughs> <laughs> Great. But every. Doesn't every Disney animated film end in a wedding? Yeah. Yeah, so. It is a love interest. <laughs> we'll just go with that. I love how we're just writing our own story at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> true. <laughs>